This is TJ with tjfree.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the free program Audacity um, used on a Windows computer. And you can find the download links and instructions at my website, tjfree.com. That's what we're looking at right here. This has step by step instructions. Uh, or you can just follow along with this video. So we're just going to go to uh, google.com and we're going to do a search call and we'll just say download Audacity. It's spelled just like that. And then this link that comes up here is audacity.sourceforge.net slash downloads. We're going to left click on that. And then we decide what we're going to download it for. Since I'm using Windows 7, I'm going to click this, Auda this uh, Audacity for Windows. It also would, works for, uh, it says like right down here, uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, Vista, XP, 2000. So I'm going to left click on it. And then we're just going to go with this top one here. Audacity is going to be currently, the current version is 2.0.4. And so whatever the latest version is, you'll just click on that and just this installer. And it's going to be the one that says .exe file. It tells us it's 20.3 megabytes. Uh, so I'll left click on that. And it starts my download here. And I'm using uh, Google Chrome. But this, these steps will be similar if you're using Firefox or Windows Explorer as your internet browser. And if you're not sure what you're using, then just follow these steps. But once it starts downloading here, um, it'll either come here or pop up in a window. And then as soon as this download's finished, I'll show you how to open it up and we'll get it installed. Okay, so this download is finished now. Um, while we're here on this download page, it might be a good idea too if we just scroll down, there's these optional downloads. Um, I like to download the lame MP3 encoder. This makes it so that you'll be able to export MP3 files. So if you want to like edit some music or record your own music and export it in an MP3 format, you won't be able to do that unless you download this insta installer. So I'm going to left click on it and it will just uh, take us to this, tell us uh, how to do it. So we have to go to the external um, lame download page. Lame, let's see here. And it just tells us how to do it. So we're going to come right down here. You just got to be careful when you're downloading things. See it says like lame library download below. Yeah, and then it says not the banner. It kind of gives us a heads up. See, this thing right here is an ad. This is for zip opener. And you can tell because it has this little X in the corner and it's from ad choices. So you don't want to click that download button. What we want to do is click on this one here. Um, this is the latest version. There's a .exe, just like before, Windows for Windows.exe. So we'll download that. It downloads very quickly. Um, anyway, and if you don't want to do that, you can just open up this this Audacity file that we um, started doing. So I'm going to left click on that while that's downloading, or it's just about finished. We left click on this Audacity download file, which is in my downloads folder, and I can just open it right from here. And we'll click run. Um, and then install it in English is what I'd like to do. Click next here. These are the terms and agreements. This just tells us where we're going to be installing it on the computer, and usually you can just leave that how it is. Um, this is if you want to create a desktop icon, and then we'll click install. And it shouldn't take too long at all. Okay, that's finished. It's created an icon on the desktop for me, um, and I can launch it right from here if I want to. I'm not going to launch it right now because I can just do that from the desktop. So now we have it here. Audacity installed on my desktop. I can open it up and uh, take a look at it. Uh, sure, I'll install those plugins. Okay, so here we go. This is what it looks like. And then I'm just going to go back real quick since we did this lame encoder, which you'll probably want to do. Just go ahead and click it once everything, once Audacity is installed, and click Run, and it will just install super quick, and that'll let, make it so that we'll be able to export in MP, export in MP3 format from Audacity. Okay, so that's done. Now, here's Audacity, so if we just click, well, I'll show you how this works in some of my other videos, but now you have Audacity installed on your computer. Good luck. Uh, have fun uh, using it, and check out my other videos and resources on my website um, to learn more about how you can do some cool stuff with Audacity. Thanks for watching.